as this would have clearly from the picture. I'm not sure what the color would have taken you the isekai, but it's pretty much going to be like that. It's the same concept. I'm pretty sure other people did a isekai anime of this. And I know everybody's going to use the fact that the sword is always power. And since I'm not that original, I'm still going to use that. Even though that's what you see at the one of the out, like the outros for the My Hero Academia season. It was like season 2 or season 3. I definitely know it wasn't season 4 since season 4 has that rock thing at the end. But yeah. But you know I'm not going to be too original since I'm still going to use the sword as all might. But we're going to start the story with Deku's thoughts. As he goes over how he wants to become a knight and have magical powers like everybody else. And I wish that I do, but I don't. I have alchemy, the ability to make stuff and only can be used to make potions at the best. But there was a man who used this power to take over and destroy everything and his brother took him down and I'm related to that person but not the good one the bad one the person that used alchemy and no magic not the hero I'm to just send it to the evil guy so not a lot of people like me and I mostly just stay home using alchemy and just making potions where adventurers we give them off to them where they don't attack us and they call it protection so that's how I survive I work at a tavern to pay money for my mother since my father was you could say stoned to death because he his alchemy became too strong and they thought there would be another rising of a demon this is what some people called my great grandfather but they killed him and called him a monster and a devil it is sad but I try to look up to things I still want to become a knight and show them that Alchemy is not evil, and show them what it's supposed to be. As I'm working at my bar right now, as Kanchan walked in, yelling about how he just beat a B rank mission, and that he's definitely going on the, the new night training, the night school and magic school together. Normally, night and magic schools are split apart, but since the great hero that started with my great my great grandfather's brother, with heroes rising up with special abilities and strong strength, ending up with all might or all night, and. He, he's working at that school, and so they brought magic and knights together. And Bakugo has amazing, unique magic, known as explosions. Some mix between his mother's, you could say, pop magic. It's more like a talent, you could say, like a show. Mixed with his father's fire magic, which is very strong. He's also a knight. And of course he's going to become one too. Just like him. But I won't give up. Just with my alchemy, I'll become a knight. I don't have to be the strongest, but I want to. And Baku would come up to Deku. Put an explosion as Deku would duck down and dodge. He was getting back up, telling, saying to Kanchan, telling him that he shouldn't do that, 
the manager would get angry. And it's too late. Deku would sing. As the manager walk out, he is a tall buff guy. And he would grab onto Bakugo and throw him outside the bar as Bakugo yell, What's your damn problem? Walking back in, go up to them. Say, you want to try to pick a fight with me? You weirdo. As the manager would stand up and he would grab Bakugo, tell him to sit down and that he, this bar is not for any people to destroy it. So if you got a problem, get out. And I'll take away your hunter license because I am the also because this is also part of the guild that you work for. If you don't remember, so you better calm your temper, or you're not gonna become a precious oppressive knight that you want to be. So be quiet. And if you're gonna stay here, you gotta buy something. As he would just say, just give me something to drink, and Deku would pour it, give it to him. As Bakugo would be like, spit on the ground, and say to Deku, that, are you still trying to plan on going to the night exams? If you are, I'll kill you. Deku would be... All shooken up, saying, "Oh no, Kanchan. Um, I just want to try it out. I probably won't get in." And the manager would tell Bakugo to stop messing with Deku, which everybody knows him as, since he's useless in anything fighting-wise. But people do talk about how he does make great ale. And amazing potions. So that's about the only thing he's useful for, most people say. And so, Deku would head home with his wage for the week. Going to his house, telling his mother he's home, as he would go upstairs going to her. As Inko would wake up, saying, Azuku, how are you doing? Are you fine? As Deku would look up, saying, Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. I'm just nervous, you could say. Inko would say, It's okay. Just do your best. I know you can become a knight. As Inko would smile, and Deku would smile back. As Deku would go on for a run to try to get more herbs to set up the potion shop for tomorrow. To make some extra money, where he doesn't have to go to his job at the bar to make money to care, take care of his mother, since people want to lowball him on his potions, and it also costs money to buy the specialized bottles that you have to put in to keep them. But as he's collecting herbs, he would fall into a cave. In the ground, as he would look up, as he would see the sword, which he would have lit the place up with matches, putting some leaves together and burning them, creating a fire, as he would look, reading the text, as this would be the sword of the great hero, All Night. All Night. Apparently he lost his sword a long time ago, and he wasn't able to get it back. So he's been using temporary swords to you to fight, but they always break on him. Deck, you would think of a plan to try to get some money for this, since this would be enough to keep his mother and him set good for a long time. But as he tries to run off, Bakuga would find him.
as he would punch Deku. Cave saying, where are you going all happy, Deku? And Deku would be saying, nothing, I'm just trying to go get some knights to come grab something. And Bakugo would say, what is it? Show me now. Aren't we friends? Could you help me out, says friends. Show us around it. Deku would nervously say okay. Bring him down the cave where the fire is. As they would hop down. Seeing the sword of all knights. As Deku said that he's trying to get some knights to tell them and all that. Where all knight can get his sword back. And he says, oh yeah, but have you, I'm going to take this and use it. It does, it does seem to be worth some money. I'll just go sell it. As Deku would say, no, Kamchon, please don't. As he would look back, Bako would say, what do you say to me, Deku? You're just a commoner, saying I'm royalty. I'm a noble, you're just a nobody. So what are you gonna do about it? As Dick would say, nothing, nothing. I just wanted to get some money for my mother. Gonchon. He says, screw your mother. She's just a lowly commoner that can't even work on the fields. So the small point of keeping her alive. Which this would anger Deku. So this hand would touch the sword of All Might. Or All Night. And he would swing his fist. As he would punch Baku in the face. Sending him off of him, surprisingly. Not sending him flying, but punching him, making him slide backwards. As Baku would be surprised, saying, Deku, why don't you say you're trying to get stronger? Now I can take you seriously, because that punch did hurt, you know. You know, Congress can't try to challenge nobles, because we are stronger, and you don't even have magic. So he would swing his hand, saying, Overlord, explosion! Slamming his hand down as explosions would rocket from the sky and then slam into Deku with Deku blocking as he would he would have been shot back. His hands would be injured but not his body. And as, since it's too dark from the sea and only the dim fire that's mostly burnt out, nobody has noticed that Deku's body has changed. His body seems to be buffered and more ready than normal. As Deku would put his hand on the ground, as he would use the highest form of alchemy that was created by his great grandfather that he used to fight against people, or one of the highest. As he could deform the ground, throwing spikes. It may be similar to earth magic, but it, earth magic can do other stuff. It's about the same, but earth magic could be used in different ways. So you could say it's low, it's like low mat, low ball earth magic, as it can only do simple things. As Baka would swing his hands, explode into these spikes, so run up to Deku, trying to punch him. But Deku can seemingly see through the night and the darkness where he's at. So he would dodge Bakugo and kick him in the stomach, kicking him off of him, sending him back. As this would confuse everybody because Deku, what happened to him? He's much stronger, Bakugo thinks. Since Deku is just that scrawny kid, like he used to be, he thinks. As he would dodge for us, saying, you don't have magic, you commoner. As Deku would freak out, and raise his hand. 
as he would have swung it, punching Bakugo, as his fist would go with lightning, flinging him off. And so, this was confused Bakugo, saying, lightning magic? How is that possible? As Deku put his hand in the sky, flinging it down, so he would shoot a thunderbolt, shocking Bakugo. So Bakugo didn't have time to put up any mana shield. It was a full breath attack by a lightning shock. Would have made Bakugo pass out. As Deku thinks how he's going to get him back, as he tries to pull him, he thought it would be hard, but he pulls him almost immediately. And he figures out that he can throw him over his shoulder like nothing. Let's go back to All Might Sword, or All Night Swords, and touch it. We would pick it up, which would surprise him since All Night Sword is a magic sword that only certain people can pick up. And they have to have a certain new requirement, you could say. It was pretty much only supposed to have one user, which was All Night, where nobody else can use it. Since it was a mana sword with magic power, which increases the users with contact. As it would change to suit Deku, instead of this big bulking claymore, it would turn into a set of two, you could say daggers, but they're more like short blades actually. As Holders would appear behind and to Deku's side as he would put them in. And something would open up. As he would seemingly gain the ability of a ability to see his stats. With his stats being only level 2, while Bakugos is level 30. Or no, not level 15, I mean. His is level 20, Deku's is. Being five levels ahead, Bakugo, and no wonder he beat him. Looking at Bakugo, learning his level and special ability, and what his type of weapons he can use, and Deku sees that his best attribute is two short blades, which appear from All Night Sword, or All Night Swords. As you would see, his magic is known as Lightning Emperor and Alchemy on the side of it, which would be in a regular gray text as Lightning Emperor as his new magic would also be a new title that he gains appearing on his side and whenever he activates it, it unlocks all of his knowledge of his lightning to a certain point that he has. With his ability that he used on on Bakugo would have been Lightning Javelin. Would be a mid rank, it would be a level ten spell. With the lightning bolt being a level one to five spell ranging around there. With the level 20 skill being locked even though he's the level of it. So he would run off. Able to take Deku to the bar or guild, including it. Telling him to heal Bakugo. As the manager and guild master would see him. As Deku hadn't seen himself, but he has muscles formed on him. Down his whole body. As he would run home, seeing the increased speed. And that's when Pri would see one of his skills, you could say, come up from experience. So he would click on it, or think of clicking on it, as it would pop up, saying lightning dash. As so he would activate it, as he would see his mono go down by quite a bit. Even though he's a level 20, his mana is very low from it being the same mana that he had before this. 
and he sees through the time he was running, he recovered all of his mana. Seeing one lightning javelin was all of his mana. Since he has a very low one from birth. So yeah. This being the level 5 skill, you see it run off with shots of lightning, which would almost double his speed. So you make it home in an instant, going to his mom, and tucking her in for the night. Seeing her, she was looking for him. By seeing her, you could say cane or walker, on the floor, and he feels bad for her. So you would go to sleep. And this will be the end of this wood if for right now. Bye.